On the side of the unit, you'll see the large step range setting for target acquisition. The small step range for more accurate engagements is going to be featured on the display screen. When in operation, when turned by the end user, the unit itself is going to feature those exact increments. The switch on the bottom is going to allow the user to toggle between saved firing tables. The site itself is contained in a manually operated cradle. With a target identified, the end user is going to manually adjust the site contained in the cradle to put the reticle on the target to successfully engage. Taking the cover off the unit, we're able to see the electro-optical bench. The lasers are a visible red laser for bore sight, an IR pointer, and an IR illuminator. Both the IR pointer and illuminator are capable of high and low power settings. Within the housing of the site itself, it contains a backup iron sight and a parallax mitigating red dot reflex sight, allowing for positive identification and immediate engagement. 